Hey everyone and welcome to Sparkles, the show where we prove that crafting is messy by making a mess. I had fun last night. I uh, got a lot of ink on my fingers and made a few more cards for the Christmas list. So we've got a stack here of eight more cards that have absolutely nothing to do with the design in the book. Or maybe they do. I don't know how you consider, how closely you would consider them related. Um, but I thought I'd just come on and show what I did and where I went with it. So on the first card, we have the buffalo plaid background with the red banner and it says from our home to yours. I took the vellum trees and I did cut them up and I added a couple of them here. Second card is a black base card. We've got the gray wood grain popped up with a two inch round on white cardstock, just edged with a little bit of green to give it a little pickup. Um, it says peaceful Christmas wishes and I've added some of the little glitter dots with that. Here I started to get into, I still love these gray tree cardscapes. I think they're beautiful. Um, I took one of the buffalo plaid and I um, cut it up into 1.25 inch strips across the short orientation. Um, popped it up here with a red banner, a silver and a well, and a single glitter dot. This one here is another piece of the buffalo plaid. This time here with the gray uh, wood grain and one of those tags stamped with sending you peace and joy all year long. This is where things started to get weird because I had this vision of a black and white card. And what I wanted to do was add this little hint of green so that you were never really sure if it was green or black and white, like where your eyes playing tricks on you. So I took one of the um, tree card bases and I cut it up. And so you've got that in the three strips in the background the gray wood grain. I've got two vellum trees underneath here that I just put a little bit of the green ink on and covered that with an OL. It does sort of have the hint of green that I was looking for, but it's not quite enough. And that's where things started to go crazy. Because to put the ink on the vellum pieces, I decided to use a little makeup sponge. So then I had a dirty makeup sponge with lots of ink on it, and I was like, I wonder what else I can do. This one turned out pretty good. I used the piece of vellum as an outline, and I got kind of this really nice, I think, almost watercolor effect out of um, dabbing over it. So I really liked that. And that has got uh, one of the remaining pieces of the um, card front, the gray treed card front that I cut up. Um, just using that as a base, as a little banner with a red banner, the Noel, and I did add one of the bows in there. I wanted to go back though to that green and gray card idea, and this time I got rid of a lot of the gray scale. I wanted it to be kind of gray green scale. So I went in and I inked up all of the trees and I kind of like how that turned out. And then I added a moon, um, which says peaceful Christmas wishes and has a couple of glitter dots on it. Then this happened. In all this playing, I noticed I was having some fun textures come out when I was dotting and dabbing and swiping and just playing with the ink, trying to move it where I wanted on the paper. And on my scrap paper, I noticed that I was getting some really interesting stuff. So I decided to see what I could do. And I came up with this watercolor like, there's a couple of dark spots. I was kind of going for some triangular tree shapes in there. Um, and this has the, geez, did I forget to glue that down? No, it just is not stuck well. Not add something else to that um, but it's got the red banner the uh, green buffalo plaid circle and one of the tags that says Merry Christmas 
I still have a decent amount of stuff left. I've got another buffalo plaid front. I've got a bunch of vellum. I've got, you know, some assorted cutouts. Stuff like this. I definitely can do some more stamping with the... This is the vellum cutout that I used where I... Uh, got the impression. So I've definitely got some more stuff I can play with and I'm thinking I might be good to get some more upwards to another four cards out of this kit which would bring me to a total of 16 which would be really cool. I can't promise but I'm gonna see what I can do. So I'll probably be back with another one. Thank you for joining me. Uh, as always you can like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. And I look forward to seeing what you're making and what's inspiring you. Tell me, have you started your paper pumpkin kit this month? And if you have, can you show me some of what you're doing? Thank you and have a wonderful day.